Recently on the channel, I made a video going over who I believe was the best legendary Pokemon of each type. But when you have the best of something, you always have the worst of something as well. So with that being said, today's video goes over who was the worst legendary Pokemon of each type. Now of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video, and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support, and be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date, and follow my Twitter to updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So starting things off, we have the bug type, and just like I said last time, there isn't a bug type legendary, so Silvalli with the bug memory disc is the closest thing we have to a bug legendary, so whilst it is the best, it's also the worst as well, and again, there's not really much to say about it, it's just Silvalli with a different typing, same moves, same stats, everything like that, it's just a different typing. Next up we have the Dragon type, and in my opinion, I mean it has to be Zygarde 10% form. It's nowhere near as good as all the other Dragon Legendaries. Uh, it's just obviously a small form. I guess some of you guys might be like, well it's not a proper Legendary. It technically is at the end of the day, which is why I do believe it is the worst Dragon type. It's got like the worst stats. It's just, the Moon Pool is great, don't get me wrong. It's just it doesn't really have the stats to complement it. But yes, Zygarde 10% form I do believe is the worst Dragon type Legendary. Next up we have the Ice type and for me it has to be Reg Ice. I mean Reg Ice just isn't that good of a Pokemon. It can take hits, it's not a great typing though. It doesn't really have anything going for it apart from its bulk. But yes, at the end of the day there's better Ice type legendaries out there than Reg Ice, which is why I do believe it is the worst Ice type legendary Pokemon as of now. Coming up next, we have the Fighting type, and for me, the worst Fighting type legendary Pokemon has to be Virizion, and it's just because the, it doesn't have as good typing as the rest of the Fighting type legendaries, like Kabalion or Terrakion or stuff like that. It still gets good moves and everything like that. It's just I feel like the weaknesses for this Pokemon definitely outweigh the weaknesses of the other two, which is why I do believe it is the worst Fighting type legendary that we have as of now. Next up we have the fire type legendary Pokemon and for me the worst fire type legendary Pokemon as of now is Moltres. It is a fire flying type legendary Pokemon meaning it is weak four times to stealth rocks and as we all know how prominent stealth rocks are in the competitive scene they're popping up everywhere so that isn't great. I know Ho-Oh is four times weak to stealth rocks as well but Ho-Oh is just a much better version than Moltres. I think the fire type legendaries are just better than Moltres in my opinion which is why I do believe Moltres is the worst fire type legendary. Next up we have the flying type legendary and for me the worst flying type is Articuno. I know Articuno is more of an ice type than a flying type but we've already got Regice taking the worst spot for the ice type so Articuno is taking the worst one for the flying and it's four times weak to stealth rocks just like Moltres. It has some very nice bulk towards it but of course that bulk ain't going to matter if it's already lost half of its health to stealth rocks but yeah that's the main problem with Articuno which is why I do believe it is the worst flying type legendary. Next up we have the Grass Legendary and for me it has to be Virizion because Virizion is the only Grass type Legendary. I know it's already taken the spot for worst fighting type but as we all know Virizion is the only Grass type Legendary that we have at the moment meaning that it has to be the worst unfortunately for him. Although Virizion is still a good Pokemon, like I say it's the only Grass type Legendary so unfortunately for this dude, for this sword's justice, you're gonna have to be known as the worst Grass type Legendary. Next up we have the Ghost type, and for me the worst Ghost type legendary, can't believe I'm saying this, is Lunala. The choice is literally between Lunala and Giratina, and I do believe Giratina is a little bit better. It's got two forms, it's got a lot of bulk, it can really take a lot of hits, it's got really nice typing in Ghost and Dragon, it's not four times weak to Dark like Lunala is, a knockoff is really going to hurt Lunala. Lunala does have some really nice moves in like Moon Guy's Beam and stuff like that. It's just unfortunately for Lunala, I don't think it's as good as Giratina, which is why I do believe Lunala is the worst Ghost type legendary. Next up we have the Ground type, and for me the worst Ground type legendary, again, has to be Zygarde 10% form. I'm not about to put Landorus as the worst ground type legendary when Pokemon such as Zygarde 10% do exist. I know Zygarde 10% has already been the worst dragon, but again, it's just nowhere near better than Landorus or Zygarde 50% or anything like that. This is why I do believe I have to put it as the worst ground type. Again, this got some nice moves, it's just the stats don't really comfort it very well at all, which is why it is the worst ground type in my opinion. 
Next up, we have the electric type, and for me, the worst legendary electric type Pokemon is Zapdos. It was quite difficult, to be fair. This was probably the hardest decision for me to make, because it was literally between Raikou and Zapdos, because obviously Thunderous got the best um, electric type in the last video. But unfortunately for Zapdos, I just don't think it's as good as Raikou. Raikou has some really nice moves in things such as Volt Switch and Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice. It's just a better Jolteon at the end of the day. Whereas Zapdos is weak to Stealth Rocks, which is never great. It has some nice reliable recovery in Roost and things like that. I guess this is just really an opinionated uh, suggestion. Well, they all are, I guess. But for me, Raikou is better than Zapdos, which is why Zapdos is the worst electric type legendary in my opinion. Coming up next, we have the normal type. It's not even up for debate. Has to be Regigigigigigigus. It's the only other normal type. It's nowhere near better than Sil Valley or Type Null. Regigigigus is just an awful Pokemon. Slow Start has destroyed this Pokemon. Whether it gets buffed later on down the line, we don't know because five turns just to like get half your attack and speed is way too long for me. I think it should be like two or three turns at most, but five turns? Nah, that's pretty much destroyed this Pokemon, unfortunately. But that is why I do believe the worst normal type legendary Pokemon has to be Regigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigig
That's everything from me though guys, so thank you so much for watching, hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace.